Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. And I'm Luke. And today we are going to be doing a first impressions of Acro fragrances. Yes. So the brand is sex, cigarettes, weed, alcohol, chocolate, and caffeine inspired. These six irresistible addictions are the inspiration behind Acro, a fresh and innovative fragrance brand capturing the essence of the hit, the high, the rush, the taste of everyday vices. Interesting. Super interesting, interesting yeah. yeah. And this is done by designer Olivier Cresp. It's his line. Um, and there's six of them. Yes. I'm interested in smelling them because it's all unique. Um, caffeine, cigarettes, booze, chocolate, yes. sex. I mean, let's see what let's see what they smell like. Yes. Yeah. All right, so these are completely blind. We've never smelled any of these. These are just our first impressions. All right, which one do you want to go first? Straight to the left, yeah. All right, this is... Hey. All righty. So this is the one based on weed. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see the one based on weed. <laughs> I've never smelled a weed fragrance. I have no idea what to even expect. Yeah. It's mellow green infused with clary sage. And oh, that's sage. actually really nice. Okay. It's very green. Okay. Yeah, it says the description is, it's, uh, haze is the smell of green infused with clary sage and Absinthe. Okay. So yeah. Do you get the boozy in it with the absinthe? Yeah, I get the boozy more than anything. Yeah, I feel like it's like a like fresh cut grass with like a boozy note to be honest. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Very unique, very interesting, but definitely captures the yeah. Yeah, it's it's very fresh cut grass and booze is the best way to put that one. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Do you it's like cool. it? Unique. Yeah. Definitely unique, yeah. Cool. Haze. Good good starts. All right, next we have smoke. Smoke, okay. This is the scent you're not supposed to like but cannot resist. It's the satisfaction of a slow first drag. Nicotine is within the essence of smoke along with birch leaf, tonka beans, and tobacco. All right, so this is cigarettes. All right. <laughs> well, let's see what the cigarette one smells like. <laughs> it's 100% smells like cigarette smoke. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Hey, I'm not super into cigarettes, so it does remind me of yeah smelling someone that smokes. But I'm like, trying to get the tonka. I mean, there's a little bit of tonka in there, but yeah, really heavy tobacco, almost like Tom Forty to be honest. Yeah. So if you're in yeah. Tom Ford fragrances, yeah. you probably will vibe with this one. Smell like a like a leather like couch. Oh no, now <laughs> leather is definitely coming in. Yeah. Now. Less smoke now. Once it's settled a Once little bit. Once it dries bit. down. Yeah. Yeah. Very, I feel like a yeah, leathery vibe yeah. with that smoke. It just smells like a, like an old leather chair that someone has been smoking cigars on or something. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see how it dries down. All right. Next we have... Da -da 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 -da. Awake. And what's the antidote for that unforgettable night? Caffeine. With notes of green cardamom, lemon, and coffee bean, Awake is like the morning fix that brings you back to life. So I'm not gonna lie, before we even spray this one, this is the one I was most excited about after okay. reading all the descriptions. Caffeine. Let's see. It's a nice coffee frag. Hopefully. Okay, no joke. Yeah. Smells like fresh morning coffee. Oh yeah, with, with nice like sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually very nice. I like that a lot. I think I like this one probably the best, maybe the weed one, second. Yeah, it smells like a, a drink that you've like had before. It smells like you're at coffee in a Starbucks or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is very nice, wow. It's like a caramel something. Oh, it, <laughs> it freshens too, since yeah. the, when we just passed it over. That's nice. Does, that's I, I feel so like far. it would wake you up. Yeah, that's my favorite so far. That's, really this is a good one. Nice, yeah. All right, Jeez. the next one is dark. And this is inspired by, is it Anis, Anais? Anais? Anais and Jack's favorite chocolatier. Those are his his daughter and son-in-law, I think. Cool, dark is like a sophisticated guilty pleasure with notes of hazelnut, vanilla, cinnamon, and dark chocolate. All right. This could be a lot of fun. Can this smell like Nutella? Let's see. The hazelnut, the vanilla, and all. And the chocolate. Yeah, let's see. 
Okay, this really does smell like, that's a sexy chocolate. Yeah, yeah, really like this one. Mm, I'm curious to see how this dries down. Yeah. This is nice, it's very, I've never smelled anything like this either, you know? Yeah, because there's other very chocolate unique. fragrances, but that one smells like... It smells like dark, really like dark chocolate, yeah. yeah. I like it, nice. It smells like a nice like brown. This one's nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For those of you that like gourmand scents, that's it. Yeah, very unique. Very nice gourmandy. Yeah, and these are, they run at 160 uh, dollars, USD. Yes. That's not, that's not bad actually, for like a, you know, a niche fragrance. All right, malt. Malt, rum, whiskey, leather, and seaweed bring forth the sensory experience of a really good whiskey. Malt reminds you of spirits that deliver a bite to the tongue and warmth to the cheeks. So hearing yeah. liquor and seaweed just makes me think the of a pirate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. See if we get a pirate send out of this. A pirate? <laughs> yeah. At the seas, drinking <laughs> their booze. I don't, I don't get a lot of booze right off the bat. Whoa, that's... Was not what I was expecting yeah. it to smell like. Rum, whiskey, the leather, and seaweed. I feel like I smell like the leather and the seaweed. Yeah. It almost smells like beer. I almost, like just think of like a beer when you smell that. It smells like yeah. some sort of, yeah, like an alcohol, but... Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if I love it yet. Yeah. Wait for it to dry down. But unique, very unique. Nothing like it, I swear. Yeah. yeah. Nothing like that one. <laughs> that is very unique to itself. Yes. And last but not least, we have Night. Night. It's lust, sweat, and heat. A one night stand. Night is sex, not love. <laughs> With notes of white musk, saffron, and cumin. Alright. So Valentine's Day is actually coming up <laughs> this coming week. And let's see what sex smells like. <laughs> Not love. <laughs> All right. The desire of sex. Oh, it's much cleaner than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's actually kind of nice. I like this one so far. Saffron and cumin. Whoa. Very soapy. Yeah. I don't know if I love this, but it almost smells like this is like could not unisex it smells i don't know i feel like that could be unisex yeah it, it has a because cumin to me kind of gives off a bo vibe yeah this but... has like a like it smells like makeup powderish yeah I feel like makeup -y. i don't know that's Maybe, what it it's is like a makeup -y vibe it's very like it smells like blush yeah that's what it is interesting and yeah unique yeah very unique my, my favorites are definitely the chocolate and What's that the one? The weed? The, no, uh, coffee. The coffee. The coffee and the, and the dark chocolate are definitely my I like the coffee, the dark chocolate. Yeah. And I think I might like the weed one, but we'll see how they dry down. Yes. And we're going to bring a guest on for the dry downs. Yes. So be prepared for our special guest coming up. We are back for the dry downs, and we are here with the lovely Julieta Hi. from Argentina. Yes. Hola. Yes, and it Como is. Estas? <laughs> it's also her 22nd birthday today, so. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And we are gonna have Julieta smell the dry downs of the Afro fragrances, and she's gonna let us know if she'd like to smell them on a guy, yes or no, if she really likes it or if she doesn't really like it. You ready? All right, yes. All right, which one do you wanna smell first? This one. This one. So this is malt. Ooh, okay. I kinda like this one. Yeah. Like. Malt is the rum, whiskey, leather, and seaweed. Ah, thank well, you. Because I was like, in that. It's like very like unique to me. Yeah. yeah. Like it's hard to actually realize, like if it smells like that, I don't feel it smells like. Right. No, it's just kind yeah. of like it kind of smells like beer to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, I kind of like it. I don't know if it will be my favorite, but it's like. Would you nice. like to smell it on a guy? Like, is it yeah. a start? attractive fragrance? Yeah. Cool. I would like to smell it on a guy. Malt is a positive for her. Yes. Alrighty. Cool. Now let me know what you think of. Smoke. What's this? The cigarette, the cigarette inspired one. Yes. Mm, I don't like anything that smell, smell like smoke. So, like, it's a nice thing, but like, I would not like it in a guy. It's like old manny, right? Yeah, like if you're 
80 years old. It'll be good. <laughs> it really does just kind of smell like some, an old cigarette smoker. Yeah, yeah it does. Yes. Like a leather couch. Ah, uh, yes. Like, oh, yes. Leather couch. Oh, like, cigarette. It's probably my least favorite of the group so far is the smoke one. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. It's just, no, nah, I don't like so, it. So, not on a guy. No. No. All right. Next, we have Dark, the chocolate inspired oh, one. Oh. Yeah. Like, I like it, but I like it if, like, you go to a store and it's the smell. Not on a yeah. guy. So, you <laughs> enjoy the scent, you just wouldn't want to smell it on a guy. Yeah, like, it's nice, but, like, I prefer the guys you wear right now. It's like. Yeah. In a room more. Yeah. Like a yeah. candle or something. Yes. If you're a candle. But you go, you're looking, you smell that, it's nice. Yeah, I picture it as like a cold weather fragrance, like you're in the snow. Would it fit oh, better yes. that way? Yeah. Yeah. If you so, go, like a holiday in the snow. Yeah, like nice and cuddly. Yeah, I like that. Cool. So, like that's nice. You love the scent, just not on the guy. Yes. Cool. <laughs> okay. Let us know what you think of night. <laughs> oh, that's the sex one. This is the sex, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Soapy? The cumin. It smells like blush to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like makeup, right? Yeah, it smells like 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 powder. I don't know. It smells like dirt, dude. <laughs> well, well like, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed <laughs> to be like dirty sex. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, they make that. Like they So they make that good, but like I think this one is a unisex. Do you like it? Would you wear it? Would you like me to wear this? It's a little like older woman to me, like yes. grandma. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that. That's because of the blushish feel? Yeah, it has like an older like... The grandma's purse vibe? Grandma purse, yeah, definitely. But I prefer like the one who smells like smoke than this one. Okay, so that's your least favorite then so far? Yes. Okay. Right. I don't like this one. And <laughs> now we have Awake, the caffeine inspired one. Mm. So coffee. Yeah, this is nice, I like this one. This is like... I would like it in that guy. In daytime. Yeah. But like, I like it. Or a nice. long night out first thing in the morning. Wake yeah, yourself like back up. Yeah, like we go to buy French baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes on a guy. Yeah. Is it your like favorite it. so far? No. No. It's like, we went to the, the one out The chocolate? The chocolate, no. The chocolate was like, it's a the candy. The second one, I think. Uh, malt, well, the, the beer one. one. Oh, I like I that. I think that was it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> This is haze. This is the weed. Weed. Oh, I like this one. It it was I, I liked it on the opening. It's very too. green, with like a little like it's a, the absinthe. I feel like I don't really yeah. feel. It I smells don't smells like the weed. cannabis. No, yeah. I don't cannabis. no, it doesn't like smell like weed, but it's not. Because weed's usually stanky, and this isn't stanky at all. Yeah, it smells like a nice green fragrance. Yeah. I like this one. Like I would like it at night. Yeah, it's like a fresh kind of daytime. Almost, yeah. You know? So, yes or no on a guy? I like it in a guy, but not if I'm dating a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd prefer it to smell it on someone, but not your boyfriend? Yeah, like it's nice, like to smell this, but... All right, I like so I hold that one. Yes. Um, I'll have Luke hold this one, so put this in this hand. All right, which one do you prefer more? Haze or... Which one's that, Luke? Awake. Awake. Caffeine or weed? Weed. Weed. Okay. Wait. Oh, this is the caffeine. Yeah, it's time to switch to. Okay, that's the caffeine. But she likes the weed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here you go, Luke. Keep that one in your hand. This hand. Okay. Okay, so now it is haze versus dark. This is the chocolate. I like it more now, this one. Dark, so the chocolate. Yeah? Yeah, now I like. Now Before I didn't settled. like it that much, but now I like it. Yeah. Dry up. Okay. Yeah, this one. Oh, cool. over haze. Yeah. Cool. And then this one is malt versus chocolate, dark beer versus mm -hmm. <laughs> or. What's your favorite? It's like seaweed and whiskey, but it kind of smells like beer. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Like. I think this one. The beer? The malt one. Oh, malt liquor. Wait, beer. wait. But this one I'll like more on a guy. Okay. So you'd rather smell the chocolate on the guy? Yes. Cool. 
Cool. I like more was that all of them? I think it's my favorite too, yeah. That was it. So your favorite one is chocolate. Your second favorite one, let's just do a real quick. So dark is the favorite. Mm -hmm. Second favorite is... Well, this is haze. That's the weed one. Oh, this one's good. This one is not the coffee one. I don't know where the coffee this one This one's your my favorite. I don't know where the coffee one was at. So those are your two favorites? Yeah. And then yes. Awake was your third? The sour one. The caffeine one? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Overall, yeah. I like I like most of these. Um, cigarettes was pretty much the only one I didn't really vibe with. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Yeah, I think my favorites are the dark and then the coffee. Um, dark and awake are my favorites. Um, I didn't like the night, the sex one. I feel like you just kind of smell like dirty powder, old lady. Yeah. I think but I think that's uh, what they were designing it for is like dirty sex. So yeah. um, <laughs> that lusting after sweatiness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the weed one surprised me the most though. Yeah, it's a clean green scent. So. Yeah, this yeah. one smells good. I like the weed one. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell like weed, but it smells good. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah. Some very interesting scents. Yeah, very unique. I feel like for like a niche fragrance, a high quality, you know, 160 bucks is not bad for, you know, yeah. something niche. And that's like some designers that are like around there. So I think yeah, it's cool. Pay a Chanel at retail in a perfume bottle, you're looking at that. So. Exactly. So yeah, something unique that no one else really has yet. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. So thank you, Julieta, for joining us on the dry downs. Uh, Luke, do you got new music? Uh, yeah, I have a new song coming out on the 24th of February. So, so in like three weeks. Tuned. Yeah, I think three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Nice, exciting. Yes. Uh, be sure to follow us down below and give this video some likes. If this video gets 500 likes, we'll bring Julieta back for another video. Awesome. Ooh. Say anything in Spanish to our Spanish um, followers. I no sé. Denle mucho like y sigan los cuyen sus nuevas canciones. Todo. Cool. <laughs> <Alrighty>. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, so. <laughs> awesome. Bye, guys.